and like the crazy thing is that <laughs> all this stuff happens and we're just you know just over here chilling but uh can we just like jump over this and just go down <laughs> that hurts okay but what's up guys welcome back to this video uh welcome back to red dead actually um we came a long way really long way we got a lot of more missions to go but not that much uh we're in chapter four we're ready to get it done we're gonna go over here and do these uh two missions right here and uh we're gonna keep it going so we're gonna Talk to Mary Hello, Beth, and I'm going to talk a little bit more after the cutscene, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What she got the get, guys. She got, she got the straw. I'll tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> guys, she got the gap. That was the funniest scene in Red Dead Redemption 2. I promise you guys, that's just that was the funniest scene ever. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it was. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. She said, man, she got captured by somebody, but by the old gang she used to run with. She got the strout <laughs> run it out, boy. You know what I'm saying? I need to fix my lighting because uh, last video, it looked like I was like orange. And one of my lights is kind of like a little bit orange. Um, but that's what makes the lighting more fuller. Oh, God, I almost hit that tree. Make the light more fuller. But, you know, uh, uh, I'm trying to keep on looking at the uh, LBS. But, yeah, make the light more fuller so, you know. It's not too far. Um, if I get it at a different angle, it would be weird because I have to give actually one more like one more light, then we'll probably be good. Oh god, I'm not even looking. Of course I care about all you fools. And in need of some help. I can't see his face. I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our. Now forget that. Hold up. Let me loot this boy. Hold up. Speaking of double bro, I don't have my horse. Let's run in here. What up, baby? What the hell? What the hell? I missed. Let me loot real quick. Uh, guys, you always have to loot. Never forget that. Like, she can wait. Oh, okay. What's up? Bow. Bow. It's okay. Hey, Miss Tilly. We got you, okay? You're safe. Alright. Don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? 
For the guys, man. For the guys. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaching? I, I was tapping A. I don't know why. I was tapping A to run fast. Now catch them. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Come here, boys. I like this horse, this baby moving! Come here! Let's go! I like this horse, this baby moving, baby! This a race horse? Let's get some lasso out, boys. You know what it's time for. We're gonna catch up to him. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Gotcha, bit. Get him on that. Good. Now make sure you tie him up real good. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what the? Oh, shit. Quick, get after him. Make sure we take him alive. Hey, hey. Come here. Ah. Got him right there, boys. That's how we do it back in these streets. You know what I'm saying? You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Arthur Morgan. I'm Anthony. Died what you deserve. You're wasting your time. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I mean, we don't want. We're Finish gonna do it for the community. Off. I don't want to shoot. I'm not gonna kill. You know my choice. I mean, we're gonna do some good. We're gonna be good, man. Right, yeah. Let's get you home. Yeah. <laughs> We want to be good, all right? We want to do the good path, you know what I'm saying? He had it coming, though. All right, we got to do the other mission, which is... Where is it at? Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Hosea's. So, let's way back home. Let's go back to... Let's go to Hosea's mission. Get on, boys. All right. We don't want to walk over here. It's taking forever, but... Come on, put a little pep in your stuff. Pep. Uh. All right, what's up, Hosea? Hosea. What we gotta do? Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linder's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. All right, so yeah, we're going to hair out, guys. You saw you like it slipped back a little bit. Got the beard out long, you know what I'm saying? We out here. We might shave it, but chapter five we're shaving it. All right, but whole chapter four, mm -mm, we're keeping it. Good evening, Pierre. Oh, I have just doing the marker. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, respect. Respect. I like that. Join the party. We'll meet you out this is a cool. This is actually a cool house. <laughs> Pretty. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I like this. So is this who? Who is this? This is me and Dutch. Okay. Why wow, we couldn't get a hat? That's right, when the chapter 5 comes, we're getting chopped. Period. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys! You've arrived! And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. 
They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> Alright, boys, we're back. If you kindly follow me. What's in there? Not allowed to go in there. Ok. So we see what we got, what we got going. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again. Santa Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. But the boys. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and So we know what he's wearing. So let's go find the mirror. Camilla McClare, where ever? How was the show? I heard you went to. Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. <laughs> I found him. Oh, would you like me to get a What a fine evening. Uh, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> I found him pretty fast. <laughs> I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Why, why, why are we doing this live? <laughs> Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, God damn it. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. All right, boys. We gotta see what we gotta find out. You don't want to go too far back, but you don't want to go too far up. Right, right here, we're too close. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. 
Thank you, Mr. Tarrant. Everything taken care? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Sign what later? What does Cornwall, Cornwall got to do with this? Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm so bad at, so bad at sneaking in. He's a hitter. He's a hitter. For the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! <sighs> I'm watching the map, I'm like so focused. That was fast. Okay. Should we? We should have spent that letter. Should we? Or. I think we can, so. I wanted to kind of check it. Alright, if you want to read that, uh, pause the video and read it. I kind of skimmed it, so... So we go through it kind of fast. Hi right, boys. I think I found out how we can grab some girls from uh let's get out of here, I guess. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a, a city bank. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Oh no, I'm not good at no poker, so I hope I don't have to play that. I will lose every bit of money that I have. Every bit of it. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. 
I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys, that is, uh, that was pretty interesting. I think, all right, I got two things to do in there and, uh, in the town. So I think we're going to end it right here. We'll be back when we do those two missions next. So, uh, you see that we changed the clothing a little bit. I like this jacket, you know, had, we had to change it uh, out a little bit, you know. See if we can find somewhere, find a hotel somewhere where we can uh, take a shower and get, uh, get uh get clean so you know thank you guys for watching i really appreciate all the support i am out this baby i'll see y'all next video